Hello and welcome to another video of mine. This time I'm trying this with this camera set up. Let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, please ignore the wrinkliness of this. <laughs> um, yes, I need to iron this, um, but I don't have too much daylight left. So I am trying to film this video. So let's get right into it. This is going to be the haul recap of June 2020 and in here I am going to show you and talk about every single product that came into my collection um, within June 2020. Um, if I won it, if I purchased it, if I received it uh, for free for product review purposes, um, either way I'm showing these items to you and yes let's get right into the video. And the first two products I'm talking about are these two samples from L'Oreal um, Professional. This one is a shampoo and that one is a mask. And yes, it's actually terrible that I still have this in my collection and didn't use them yet. Um, these are just small samples and I mean, come on. <laughs> Um, these definitely are going on my list to use up um, for the next month. So I am um, right after this video putting this in my bathroom so I can use them and finally, finally use them up. <laughs> then I also um, received a sample of the Kerastase Blanc Absolu purple shampoo. And I did use this up and I do remember it because I didn't like it at all. I expected a lot of it because it's Kerastase and I normally do like um, their products. And also I know that a lot of hair salons use them in my country. So I did expect a lot of it and it was terrible. It dried out my hair so, so, so extremely. I didn't care for it at all and I would never ever purchase this. So yes, that's for that sample. Then apparently I had a perfume sample from Alexander McQueen and I don't remember it. I do use a lot of perfume samples and I forget which ones I tried and I forget how I like them. Um, except if I really, really love them, then I don't forget. But other than that, I kind of forget. So I don't actually remember that perfume sample. Then I remember I won a giveaway and in there were five Natura Cosmetica items. And I really fell in love with two items of them. Um, four of the five items I already used up. The first one was the Uplift Eye Care. The second one was the Age Resist, I think it was a serum. Then the Youth Power, I think also a serum, the Youth Skin. And um, I did like them, I think the Uplift Eye Care. I didn't like on my eyes if I remember correctly and then I used it on my hands and it was amazing, on my hands. <laughs> um, wait, I need to look it up which of these items were the two items I really really loved. So I did look it up. Um, there were actually three items I really did enjoy. Um, the first one I was right about the Uplift Eye Care. Um, I didn't enjoy it on my face, but my hands loved it. So it's, I don't know, I kind of thinking about repurchasing um, it, but these products are quite expensive. And yeah, I will think about it. But the other two were these Youth Power Solution and this rich skin solution. I um, did love both of these and I am actually considering to repurchase this. That's why I still have these bottles because items I really think about purchasing again. I keep the empties to remember that I really like them because as you just saw, I didn't really remember which of the five items I um, enjoyed the most. So yes, I'm thinking about this, but these are quite expensive. And then I still have this one. Um, this is also Natura Cosmetica and it's a clay mask. I didn't use it at all. It's still opened completely. I know that this lasts a long time or like is um, 
doesn't expire easily because it's a powder in there and because I didn't open it yet so I'm not worried about um, still having this and I know I love myself a good clay mask so um, I'm looking forward to trying this out but right now I'm trying to use up a mask that's even older than this one so yes um, anyway this is still in my collection didn't try it yet then also in the same giveaway was this MA Zambera Skin Peel-Off Mask. As you see, I had this in a project before and I did use it. I am so so about it. I think it does work a little bit. It's not my most favorite product and I only have to use a little tiny amount of it. So, so this is way too big. Um, for my usage, but yes, I still have it. I still use it from time to time, but very sparingly. And in the same giveaway was an Alverde lip gloss and I didn't enjoy it at all. It was so tingly. I didn't like the feeling and I didn't like the product at all. I gave it to a friend of mine immediately. Then there was also a tea tree oil spot stick in there and I did use it. I think I might have it somewhere still but I'm not counting that as a beauty item so yeah. Um, I think I still have it. I use it from time to time. I don't have issues with blemishes so I only have to use it very sparingly but yes I do like it. Then another perfume sample, the Calvin Klein One perfume and I do remember it a little bit. I remember that I liked it and that I just used it up, ooh, I don't know, was it this year? Or within some of my last empties video, you must have seen it. Because I think I used it up within the last few months. But I would not repurchase because I know if I would want to purchase it I would remember more about it and then there was also the Yves Saint Laurent black opium neon perfume sample I do enjoy it but I purchased the original one the black opium one and I'm content with that so I don't need the neon one as well then there was another sample in there um, the Guerlain Double Renew Repair Serum and I don't remember it was a very very tiny sample I think it was just one use um, it definitely wasn't terrible because I would remember it and for one use I cannot say too much about it so yes then there were three more items I gave away um, the first two were like a peeling cloth and a self tanner just a, like a also like a sample just a one time use um, one little cloth and the actually I don't remember maybe I used it the Rival de Loop perfect tint concentrate um, I don't remember it I really don't remember it yeah let's just move on <laughs> then another item I still have in my collection I mean, I think it's the one from that time. I'm not sure if this is a repurchase already or if it's the one from 2020. It's very, very empty. I already repurchased it in case this runs out because it must be down to here somewhere. This is the Bella Flex 2 Day Volume Mousse. And I love to use this. I, If this is the old one, I only still have this because I tried a lot of other hair care items so that's the only reason why this is not empty if this is still the one from 2020 and yes this is one of my favorites and as I already told you I already repurchased then this Sante day cream I definitely know this is already the repurchase because I did own this before and also a sample of this one and I loved it that much that I repurchased it and ever since then they reformulated this I think and this is the old version and this I only have tried the old version so I can only talk about this one and I absolutely love it I repurchased it and I am already thinking about trying the new formula because I love this during the summertime. The one thing I have to say though, this does smell a little bit of alcohol, so maybe there's something in here. So if you don't like this in your skincare, then please stay away of this um, 
cream but yes it works for me very nicely especially during the summertime because it's very lightweight and I see an effect when I use this so yes I really do like this one then I had a all-time favorite Balea makeup remover I currently don't have it in my collection because I decided to use up my toners the same way I use this product I use it when I do my makeup to remove all of the fallout of my eye makeup and now that I used up a lot of toners I'm thinking about repurchasing it but I think I still have two or three um, small sample sizes or minis of toners left and I want to use them up before I purchase any product that I use that way. Two items I still have with me are these Catrice Neon Nail Polishes and it's in this one is in flashy pink and this one is in hot coral and these are limited edition ones i really do like them especially with a white base underneath and i kind of saved them because i like them that much but yes um 2020 so this does tell me that i need to use them um yeah but i really do enjoy this then also two items from the body shop. The first one was the green tea body butter in a mini size. I absolutely love these body butters. Um, at least the old formula. I think they might have changed something about the formulas. I need to try the new ones a little bit more or maybe it was just the Christmas edition that had a little bit of a different formula. So we will see, I need to try the new formula more but this definitely was one of the old formulas and I absolutely love it and I also had the mango body yogurt and I think this was my first body yogurt I tried from then and I do like it for summertime I do like it but I prefer the body butter still I also purchased two eyeshadows from colored rain this one in happy days and I do like it. It has a very special shift to it. In my opinion, I really do enjoy it. It's not um, very metallic or not very reflective. Let's put it that way. But I do like it. So that's the first one. And the second one is Who Me. And this is a little bit more reflective. I think you can clearly see the difference between them. So that's the second one. Another item that came into my collection during June of 2020 was the Victoria's Secret Never Ending Summer Body Lotion. And while I do like Victoria's Secret body lotions, I absolutely hated the scent. <laughs> um, it was either like sugar melon or either honeydew melon or cantaloupe. I don't know how to say it in English, I just googled it. Or musk melon? I don't know. Uh, one of these uh, melony scents, and I absolutely hated the scent. I forced me to use it up, so I would definitely, definitely not repurchase this scent. But Victoria's Secret body lotions, I really do like. And one of the last items I still have with me is this Jill Sander Sun Delight perfume, and I did use up. A little bit I don't know if you see it that way <laughs> but I really do enjoy this uh, especially for summer days and maybe not as hot summer days because it's a very warm scent and yes but it's um, currently one of my favorites in my collection actually then another perfume sample that came into my collection back then was the Caragel yes I am perfume sample and I remember I did really like this 
perfume, but I did not end up purchasing it. And the last item I still have with me is this Clarins Hydra Essential Serum. And I'm almost done with this one. I saved this because I use it very sparingly because I know it's very expensive and my skin loves it. So I kind of know that I would like to repurchase it. But yes, I use it for special occasions, basically. But this video shows me this item is so old. Two years is a long time for a serum, an open serum. So I need to use this up sooner than later. I do like this during like the colder months more so because it's a little bit with an oil in there. Um, so not the perfect item to use up during the summertime. So maybe I wait a little bit more to use it up but yes definitely need to use it up and probably will repurchase and the three last items that came into my collection back then were three perfume samples again they were all victor and Rolf perfumes there was the bonbon one the flower bomb and the flower bomb midnight and i think i used all of them up and I also did like them, but I didn't end up purchasing any of them. Um, I think I just have a lot of perfumes that I do enjoy and I have a full size of. So a perfume sample must really be special for me to purchase a new perfume. And yes, I didn't end up purchasing them. Anyway, this is all for this video. These are all the items that I still have with me from June 2020. I think for the amount of products that came into my collection back then, this isn't bad. <laughs> um, especially for because there's a perfume, the nail polish and the eyeshadows. I was expecting to still have them. Um, the other items, like especially these two, like, um, no, let's not talk about it. <laughs> I need to use them up. But yes. That's all I can say about these items right now and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very nice day. Bye!